The Cow King's leathers got a little bit of a bump in 2.4, though I'm sad to report it still doesn't turn you into a cow, which is a real shame. That said, for how low level it is, it's not a terrible set, though it can be a little fiddly to find due to the parts only being able to drop in the cow level itself, and if you're intent on farming it, you'll want to focus on normal and nightmare difficulty due to the base item types. As far as the global mods, 2.4 adds a bit of defense to the full set bonus, but more importantly it adds plus one to all skills and an extra flat 100 life, which is a good chunk of life considering it's applied before the effects like Battle Orders or Oak Sage, so it can get amplified a lot. In terms of the rest of the bonuses, they're not half bad either, with a chance to cast Static Field when struck, increase attack speed, strength, as well as some magic and gold find boosts, along with a pinch of poison resist. The set as a whole can give you some nice value at low strength and level requirements with the highest part being the hat at level 25. Speaking of the hat though, or more accurately Cow King's hornless horns, you'll notice that it doesn't have any partial set bonuses, and this will be true for every part of the set, though as far as the core mods on it, it's probably the weakest of the set, with some defense, half freeze duration, retaliatory damage, and a bit of mana recovery when hit. It's not terrible, but it's also not going to be anything to write home about. Thankfully, the other two parts of the set do have okay perks, with the hide armor giving extra flat life and resist all, which are both pretty solid mods. Beyond that, it does have some percent enhanced defense, which makes it more upgrade friendly and also the ability to cast chain lightning when struck is not terrible, so it may not be best in slot, but it is definitely something that can be worked with. The last of the individual parts are the hooves, probably my favorite individual part of the set in general. It gives run walk speed, fire damage, dexterity, and magic find, along with a pinch of flat defense. They're no Alder's boots, but they're still up there in terms of quality set boots, though unlike the armor, they are a little less upgrade friendly. Though it does beg the question, would I actually upgrade any of these? I would say no on the helmet and boots, but on the armor, if you're going to use the full set for Nightmare for something, then it wouldn't be the worst idea to upgrade it to Exceptional since it will give you good enough defense bumps for the price, though if you have other plans for your armor, I wouldn't waste the resources just to say you are a better equipped Cow King. Now as far as the boots, the reason why I wouldn't upgrade those is because, well, those aren't going to do a high amount of damage even when upgraded, you want to generally lean towards your heavier plated boots. Overall, this set may not be best in slot, but it's also not terrible, and it can work well with plenty of other set choices. It doesn't eat up any weapon slots, which is kind of nice, so you're free to use it with whatever you want alongside it in that regard, so it can be used to pull off some fun bargain bin builds on something that's easily farmable before going into hell difficulty. So do you wish Cow King's set would turn you into a cow, like Trangul's does with turning necromancers into vampires? Would you want to see some more specific farmed area items like this set? Mention it down below, and as always, thanks for all the support. You're the reason this content can be made. So keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This has been Alzerath. Bye.